and welcome to the Mansion Stadium, the home of the Melbourne Knights here where they will be hosting another home game this time against the Green Gully Cavaliers round 16 of uh, this year's Victorian Premier League and a very fine evening here at the Mansion Stadium not a very big crowd for this encounter with uh, two teams of course looking to be in the top six in this year's competition Green Gully Cavaliers currently sitting on seventh position with 24 points and the Melbourne Knights on 10th with 19 points as their teams now make their way into the stadium the pitch looking in great condition and of course the Melbourne Knights in their all familiar red shirts white shorts and blue socks and the Green Gully Cavaliers in their green and white outfit and as the teams are getting ready for this uh, clash with uh, players of both teams shaking hands just before this uh, game, a very important game especially for the home team, they lost a bit of ground on their quest to make the top six in this year's competition last week of course the Melbourne Knights drawing here in the same stadium one all against uh, South Melbourne and Green Gully on the other hand had an easy afternoon against Preston Lions, defeating him by four goals to nil. And it's the Gullies taking the kickoff here at the Mansion Stadium. And everything is ready for this uh, big game between two of the teams that really have uh, made their presence felt in the last uh, few years in the Victorian Premier League. Of course, we're in Green Gully, one of the most experienced sides of uh, the Victorian Premier League as Melbourne Knights trying to create the first attacking move towards uh, Tilovsky's goals for that cross not finding the head of uh, Joshua Gronwald but it's still nil-nil for those who have just tuned into the Victorian Football Show with you once more as Green Gully pushing forward and the chip there from uh, Joel Nikolic was probably intended for his strikers but the ball again with the Melbourne Knights trying desperately to break the deadlock here at the Mansion Stadium as once more the long range shot and again not finding the target Greg Draper the player that's uh, threatened on a few occasions there he is a fine shot a lot of power behind that one and he wasn't far away so the Melbourne Knights once more try to push forward Green Gully clearing the ball away let's see if they can come up with something in this half as they're happy to just hold on to position and the free kick there well spotted by the referee for the Green Gully Cavaliers well taken there from Andy Vargas nearly problems there for the Melbourne Knights defence but into the safe hands of uh, Josh Flass there it is good free kick from Vargas unable for any of the players to really get a touch towards the Melbourne Knights goals so straight into the arms of Flash as uh, the Melbourne Knights once more with an opportunity here can they put it away but great goalkeeping there with uh, Steven Tilovsky denying Dungazic as he found himself some space there he is unmarked trying to place the ball beyond uh, Tilovsky but the goalkeeper of the Green Gully Cavalier just closing the angle there so it will be a corner for the Melbourne Knights and unable to get on at the end of it was uh, the Green Gully defenders again the ball with uh, Dungazic as he tries to set up one of his teammates this time the Cavaliers just clearing the ball away from the half so the home team really applying the pressure here at the Mansion Stadium on Green Gully as Vargas now trying to create something for his teammates and the Melbourne Knights nearly getting into trouble and again it's this man Dungazic he's got great speed trying to combine there with uh, Draper And Melbourne Knights coming forward yet once more time tonight here the cross played forward but the referee has whistled he's given the free kick for the Knights he could have played the advantage rule on that occasion but he preferred to award the free kick in not a bad position for the Melbourne Knights they have had a few shots from that distance tonight with the likes of Draper and Dugazic and of course Joshua Gronwald and another free kick but the ball not finding once more the target going well over Tilovsky goals no problems there for the Green Gully keeper 
as the ball missed kick there by the Melbourne Knights players it was uh, Lagana and it will be the Green Gully Cavaliers now trying to push forward well controlled there by the Melbourne Knights defence but there won't be any time for any of these teams to score in this first 45 minutes here at the Mansion Stadium that reads Melbourne Knights nil Green Gully Cavaliers nil and we'll be back shortly with highlights from the second half And welcome back viewers of uh, the Victorian Football Show here at the Mansion Stadium. Round 16 of this year's Victorian Premier League and it's a clash between the Melbourne Knights and Green Gully Cavaliers. The first half scoreline of 0-0 between the two teams with a home team creating a lot more opportunities than what the visitors, the Green Gully Cavaliers. A few occasions through Dugazic, Draper trying the long shot for the Melbourne Knights. And let's see how these second 45 minutes develop at the Mansion Stadium. One will draw here with the Melbourne Knights last week against South Melbourne as Green Gully Cavaliers, which really haven't created anything real dangerous in front of uh, Josh uh, Flass penalty area. The Melbourne Knights defence did well to keep their Green Gully Cavaliers strikers away from the 18-yard box. So as I was saying, a one-all draw here for the home team. And surely they would like the three points against Green Gully in order to get closer and have opportunities and chances to make it to this year's Victorian Premier League South Finals. As again, Joshua Gronwell now trying to take on three defenders. Great move there, Draper. Unable to control the ball, but great skill there from uh, Joshua Gronwell. Just finding the gap to find his uh, centre forward. Draper unable to control that one with uh, again Green Gully now looking a lot more positive in these opening minutes as the ball runs out of play I don't know what the referee has awarded it seems to be a corner for the Green Gully Cavaliers and he has done so the run was made from Royal Allerton and it was uh, and it is Vargas floating the ball into the danger zone the header and the ball just hitting the upright Melbourne nice in trouble there and unlucky for Green Gully coming very close in breaking the deadlock here at the Mansion Stadium and there you have it dangerous cross and the header coming from uh, Delif for Green Gully and the ball just scrambled away by the Melbourne Knights defense so very close in making it 1-0 here with the Green Gully Cavaliers which are looking a lot more positive in the second half a dangerous cross once more across the face of the goals of uh, Josh Aflas and again, Melbourne Knights living dangerously. The cross coming from Andy Vargas. Ryan Ollerton on the ball now. Trying to combine there with uh, Jeffrey Fleming. And holding on to position. Uh, the Green Gully Cavaliers Burton though. Not finding his teammate, but he does so now. As they push forward, a great move there. Once more, the dangerous cross. And it's still with the Green Gully Cavaliers, Ryan Ollerton. There is again with a few dangerous crosses from the right-hand side. The shot and it's 1-0 for Green Gully. There we have it, all that pressure paying off for Green Gully. I believe it's Stephen Burton, the scorer for the Cavaliers. Sanders took the initial shot and the ball hit the upright. And then the return as there you have it. The cross coming from Ryan Ollerton. The initial shot from Sanders and there he is Stephen Burton just hitting the ball at the back of the net and giving Green Gully Cavaliers the lead here at Manchester Stadium by one goal to nil so Melbourne Knights now really have to work themselves back into this game they did look the better team in the first half but they haven't really created anything dangerous up front in this second 45 minutes with the Cavaliers capitalizing that opportunity just a few minutes ago as the cover the green the melbourne knights pushing forward and nearly equalizing there steven tilovsky great reflexes as the melbourne knights nearly producing the equalizer again draper with a shot there tilovsky producing a fine save the cross coming from uh, watson but no danger there for green gully and the ball into the safe hands of uh, steven tilovsky 
Let's see, launches that long goal kick and there won't be enough time for the home team to come back into this game. So we have a, an away win for the Green Gully Cavaliers here at Manchester Stadium where the scoreline reads Melbourne Knights nil, Green Gully Cavaliers 1. Tremendous result. I thought that at half time we were very uh, fortunate to be still in the game. Um, I really uh, thought the, uh, we, we uh, didn't really uh, come to play at all the first 15 20 minutes. We thought we were pretty average. And I was just a gl glad, very glad to get in at half time 0 uh, 0 uh, and have a big chat to them and uh, get reorganised a little bit. And I thought the second half was much better. Very disappointing. Um, you know, I thought we were well on top in the first half. I thought we had some good chances, but uh, second half were totally different. You know, we we, we came out, we lacked uh, motive. Well, looked like we lacked motivation, energy. Uh, the injury to Sherman didn't do us much favour, and uh, yeah, we really struggled. You know, bring Gully ground away at us, and which is what they're good at. And uh, ultimately, uh, we paid the price.